who's there? It's nobody. Oh, yo. Thank goodness it's you. And a half a lump. <gasps> Piglet, it's just me, Christopher Robin. Hundred Acre Soup, Kipung Gosesa, or in Christopon, Komdori Pu, Kurigo Pue, Chingodurga, Boom, Chilgako, Busaon, Hepalomga, Ujulobuto, Pua, Chingodur, Chikajumio, Chilgo, Nana, Ponego, Isasumida. Kurodon on a Christopon, Kisu Hakuru, one at Don Pumonim Temune, Supur, Donaya Eko, Christopoe, Sangwang, Algaden, Pua, Chingodurin, Kotonan, Christopor, Vie, Chakbir, Patil, Yorajumida. Chakbir, Patiga, Kunago, Boduga, Chago, Sete, Christopoa, Punun. 숲을 걸으며 이야기를 합니다. What do you like to do best in the world, Pooh? Well, what I like best is me and Piglet going to see you. And you say, what about a little something? And I say, well, I shouldn't mind a little something. And it being a hummy sort of a day outside. I like that too, but what I like doing best is nothing. How do you do nothing? It's when people call out, what are you going to do, Christopher Robin? And you say, oh, nothing, and then you go ahead and do it. Oh, yes. Doing nothing often leads to the very best of something. Pooh, when I'm off not doing nothing, will you come up here sometimes? Just me? Where will you be? I'll be right here. But what should happen if you forget about me? I won't ever forget about you, Pooh. I promise. Not even when I'm a hundred. How old will I be then? Ninety-nine. Silly old bear. 작별 인사를 하고 집으로 돌아온 크리스토퍼는 짐을 정리한 뒤 기숙학교로 들어갑니다. 하지만 얼마 후 아버지의 사망 소식을 듣게 되었고 크리스토퍼는 아버지의 죽음으로 어린 나이에 한 집에 가장이 됩니다. 크리스토퍼는 가장이 되어 바쁜 나날을 보내면서 푸와 친구들을 자연스레 잊게 됩니다. 정신없이 살아가고 있던 어느 날 크리스토퍼는 운명의 여인 에블린을 만나 사랑을 나누고 결혼까지 하게 됩니다. 결혼을 한뒤 사랑스러운 딸 메들린을 낳게 되어 가족이 한명더 늘어난 크리스토퍼는 가족을 위해 더 열심히 일을 합니다. Morning. Morning. Morning, Mr. Robin. Good morning, Miss Dane. Did you have a pleasant? I'd like them to reconsider the brass fittings and the chestnut wardrobes for nickel-plated ones. Now I'll make a note now, of that. What's the hold-up from Glasgow? Tanner's Union dispute, sir. And what about Manchester? Waiting on fabric, sir. And what's Birmingham's excuse? It's just Birmingham, sir. They're always late. I don't mean to remind you. We're under increasing pressure to cut costs. But Mr. Robin. Yes. If we replace the second inner bevel with beech wood, we can increase buoyancy by 4%. And decrease weight by 0.2%. And cost? Oh, well, it might save a few pennies. Oh, keep plugging away, everyone. Bravo. That's what we like to hear. Oh, Mr. Winslow, I could easily have come up to your office. No, no, no. I'd love to come down here, get my hands dirty once in a while. Oh, sir, that sample is, in fact, still wet. Yes. Uh, uh, <clears throat> of all my father's businesses, Winslow luggage is the worst. Embarrassing for me, of course, but hardly surprising. There's been a war. Who has the time or the money to go on holiday these days? In short, we need to cut some costs. That's all I've been working on, sir. We've made some progress. About uh, 3% or thereabouts. We need to cut deeper than 3%, Robin. How much deeper, sir? 20. 20? 20%? That's impossible. Sir, your father promised these people good jobs to come home to after the war, and, well, they'd do anything for this company. I'd do anything for this company. My father has called an emergency meeting on Monday. We need to produce the cuts by then. It's sink or swim. But I, I promised my wife and daughter I'd take them away this weekend, sir. I thought you'd do anything for this company. Do you have dreams, Robin? I beg your pardon, sir? Well, I'll let you into a little secret. Dreams don't come for free, Robin. Nothing comes from nothing. And if this ship goes down, you need to ask yourself the question, am I a swimmer or am I a sinker? Well, which one are you, Robin? Well, obviously, I'd like to reply that I'm a swimmer, sir. Right answer. Me too. That's why I shall be working this weekend also. All hands on deck and all that. This may help. A list here of names, people who can walk the plank if, you, um, if we 
don't come up with something. Ah, oh, Christopher. All work and no play, eh? Ah, oh, Cecil. Um, speaking of play, the wife and I were just talking and uh, hate to be a persistent Peter, but we're still waiting for that gin rummy game. Oh, yes, yes. Well, wh one of these days, eventually. Eager to finally see how good you are. <clears throat> Madeline wanted to wait for you, but it got so late. Yes, I'm sorry I got held up at work. I know. Catherine rang to let me know. She also said you'd be working this weekend. I suppose you won't be coming to the cottage. Well, it, well, it can't be helped. I never can. Hello. What have you got there? Oh, um, it, it's yours. I found it in the attic. It has loads of things from when you were my age. Hey, cool. I mean, acorns. Nothing of any great importance. Don't you think you should be doing something more useful with your time? Reading, perhaps? I've already finished the book list that Grover Prep sent. I'm way ahead. I've been very efficient. Oh, good. That's good. Yes, there is no work to do this weekend. We can do whatever we want. We'll go back to your cottage. Play where you played. We can do puzzles, board games. Right, I, um, I wanted to talk to you about that. I can't come this weekend. But summer will be over soon. Mm, I have to stay for work. You and your mother will go. I never see you. Well, I wish I didn't have to stay for work, but dreams don't come for free, Madeline. You have to work for them. Nothing comes from nothing. Do, do you understand? Have a nice time. Dear Father, I never knew you could draw so well. Maybe you could hang this one next to mine. Love, Madeline. Arnie, where am I? I can't see anything. Oh, that's right. <laughs> Foggy today. Piglet? It's Pooh. Are you home? Rabbit? Are you home? Eeyore? Where is everybody? Anybody here? Can anybody hear me? What has happened to my friends? Oh dear. I appear to have reached the end of my thoughts. Christopher? Are you there? Christopher? Are you here? It's Pooh. Hello? It's Pooh. Oh, I'm getting very sleepy. Oh, and that looks like a bed. What to do, what to do, what to do. What to do indeed. Pooh? Christopher Robin. No! No, 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 no. You, you can't be here. <laughs> this can't be happening. Oh, God, stress. It's not stress. Oh, God, I'm stressed. It's Pooh. I'm so exhausted. Ooh. I've totally cracked. I don't see any cracks. A few wrinkles, maybe. Pooh. You're here. Mm. Oh, 
it really is very good. <laughs> Are you sure you wouldn't like some Christopher Robin? Yes, yes, I'm, I'm sure. Pooh, however did you recognize me after all these years? Well, you haven't changed a bit. But I've changed tremendously. Not right here. It's still you looking out. I'm covered in honey now. Oh, oh, yes, I see. Yeah. Your floor is very sticky. Pooh? No, this place is very big. Do you live here all alone? Just now, yes, but usually no. My wife and daughter are in the countryside for the weekend. Well, why aren't you with them? Well, uh, oh, sticky business. I had to stay for work. <sighs> why are you here and not in the forest with your friends? That's the question, Pooh. Well, I couldn't find anybody. And I couldn't find anyone either. And I looked for them both. <laughs> Hello? Oh. Piglet? Eeyore? Tigger? Where is everybody? Exactly. Where is Tigger or Kangaroo? Or... Well, that's why I'm here. Well, I'm sure I don't know where they are. I guess they thought about them 30 years. Oh. Well, we think about you every day. That's very kind. I'm sorry, Pooh. But it's getting late, and I, I'm very busy. I haven't got time to help you. Look, I'm on a deadline. So do you think you might just... Oh, you silly old bear. Are we going in? No, no, Boo. You must keep very quiet. Not let them see us. Come on. Stay low. Oh. No. Well, who is that? Boo. She can't be Poo. I'm Poo. Now that's Evelyn. My wife. She looks very kind. She is very kind. And who is that? That's Madeline, my daughter. Can she come and play with us? No, no, she can't come. Does she not like to play? No, no, it's just that she... Well, look, she's working. Oh, I see. There, Pooh. I got you home. Aren't you coming with me? I can't. I've got to go back to London. But I need your help. I've lost all of my friends. Perhaps they're back now, and you can tell them all about your adventures. I would like to do that. Off you go, then. Goodbye, Christopher. Goodbye, Pooh. And Pooh? Sometimes, when I'm going somewhere and I wait, a somewhere comes to me. Right, well, uh, good luck with everything. I should need good luck, for I am a bear of very little brain. Right, well, goodbye. Goodbye. Look out, Pooh, here I come. Still here. Hundred acre wood. Well, I didn't expect to be here this morning. Is anything familiar? The fog. Well, besides the fog. <gasps> oh, bother. What's the matter? Oh, Pooh. 
You can't be serious. There's no such thing as heffalumps and woozles. Of course there are. Didn't you see the sign? Pooh. Terrifying elephant and weasel-like beasts who wander the world preying on happiness aren't real. Now, come on. Christopher, what do you do? I'm the efficiency manager at a luggage company. You must have many friends there. There's lots of people who rely on me. So, yes. No, I don't think of them as friends. That makes it harder if I have to let them go. Where will they go? I don't know, Pooh. I, I, I don't know. Did you let me go? I suppose I did. Come on, Pooh. Oh, what is that? It's a compass from the war. I still keep it with me. May I see the compass? Yes, I suppose so. Oh, shall we follow this very handy arrow? Well, that's a very good idea. No, wait, Pooh. Keep us headed north. Yes, there's an N in front of it for north. That's what that means. Isn't this the same sign? Who? Are you sure we're still heading north? Let me look. Well, you haven't been looking? Not since I started following these footsteps. Who? There are footsteps! Oh, we've just been going round in a great big circle! What's the matter with you? All you had to do was follow the compass. No, oh, but it led us to the heffalumps and the woozles. There are no heffalumps and woozles, do you hear? Oh, I should never have trusted you with it. I'm sorry. I'll put it back in the holder of important things. All oh, my papers! No, oh, they're irreplaceable. I shall never remember all this. No, oh, Pooh, you're right. You are a bear of very little brain. Do you know what'll happen? If I lose one single sheet of this, Winslow will eat me for breakfast. A woozle will eat you for breakfast? Yes. A great big woozle will gobble me up. Well, that doesn't sound like fun. But that's the real world for you. Oh, Pooh, there's more to life than just balloons and honey. Are you sure? Silly bear. I don't know why you came back. I'm not a child anymore. I'm an, an adult with adult responsibilities. But you're Christopher Robin. No, I'm not how you remember me. I'm sorry. You're right. You should let me go for a fish in the sea. A fish in the sea? No, efficiency. Pooh? Pooh? Winnie the Pooh? 갑자기 사라진 푸를 찾기 위해 이곳저곳 수색하던 크리스토퍼는 숲속에서 기괴하고 수상한 소리를 듣게 됩니다. 숲속의 분위기와 소리 때문에 무서워진 크리스토퍼는 혹시 이 소리가 진짜 해팔럼이나 우주의 소리인가 하는 착각까지 하게 되고 무서움을 이겨내기 위해 내가 생각하고 있는 모든 게 진짜가 아니라고 자기 자신에게 최면을 걸며 풀을 찾습니다. 풀을 찾아다니며 뛰어다니던 중 크리스토퍼는 옛날에 해팔럼과 우주를 잡기 위해 다 같이 힘을 모아 파놓은 함정에 빠지게 됩니다. 크리스토퍼가 함정에 빠진 후 곧바로 떨어지는 빗줄기 크리스토퍼는 함정에서 빠져나가기 위해 올라가던 중 미끄러지며 한번더 떨어졌고 그 충격으로 기절합니다 크리스토퍼가 기절하는 동안 많은 비가 내려 함정에 물이 차올랐고 정신을 차린 크리스토퍼는 가까스로 빠져나올 수 있었습니다 Just my luck A h e f a l u m Leering at his lunch Or I'm not a heffalump. Doesn't matter anyway. Headed for the waterfall. I'll be gone soon. Oh no, not the waterfall. Swim, swim. Just have to go with the flow. Don't worry. I'm not. You mustn't give up, e o r I'll save you. We'll see. Oh yes, of course. I've grown up, haven't I? <laughs> Oh, e e l I've been at my misfortune, just like a h e f a l u m Hello, e e l Hello, h e f a l u m Not a h e f a l u m I'm Christopher Robin. Do you remember I used to try and cheer you up? I don't remember being cheery. What were you doing in the water? Just an average Wednesday morning for me. There's that sound again. It's your fellow h e f a l u m s calling you home. Come on, Eeyore. Let's get to the bottom of this. Oh, look, Al's house has fallen out of the tree again. 
And there's that terrible noise. I, I think it's behind the house. Well, I think we should investigate. I wouldn't go in there if I was us. Business. Look, it's just the old weather vane. Great. Now it has a weapon. Oh, and look, acorn shells, a whole trail of them. Follow them, them and we'll find Piglet. Now that is... <laughs> I'm sorry, Obin. Come on. Who's just getting comfortable. Let's go and see if we can't find Piglet. Goodbye, Bucket. There's one. Another one. You don't have to tell me every time you pick one up. It's nobody. Oh, you Thank goodness it's you. And a half a lump. <gasps> Piglet, it's just me, Christopher Robin. Oh, don't move. Don't move, Eel. Maybe it won't eat us. Oh, Piglet. Would a half a lump offer you a haycorn? It would if it was trying to trick me. Oh. <laughs> Oh, his, his, his legs are so long. Piglet, I didn't mean to frighten you. Come on. I'm not frightened. I'm not frightened. I'm, I'm terrified. Got to go quicker. Got to go quicker. These acorns are weighing me down, but I can't let go. He's what? coming. He's coming. Piglet, you have a head full of fluff. You've let him run to us. Now we're scared. Just point of hiding if you're going to bring him to us. Hello, everyone. <gasps> Nobody move. Heavy lumps can't see you if you don't move. I can clearly see you. Well, you didn't see this. Oh, pounce you! Oh, pounce you! Oh, give Tigger, it's Christopher Robin. Huh? Oh, Tigger, just look. Just look closely. He's giant, huge. He's a massive beast. And he smells a little funny. Don't look him in the eye. <gasps> he has hair everywhere. Even in his ears. Such troubled eyes. His nose is huge. He's Hideous. Well, that's a bit harsh. Have you eaten Winnie the Pooh? Did they take him? Did the monsters have Pooh? <gasps> Look, there's no such thing as monsters. <gasps> He's tricking us. Of Ridiculous. course there are. He lies. How dare you pretend to be Christopher Robin? He'd never say such a thing. <laughs> I am Christopher Robin. Help me. Then prove it. Christopher Robin would know how to stop the heffalumps. 해팔럼이 아니라는 걸 증명하기 위해 크리스토퍼는 해팔럼을 잡는 연기를 하였고 리얼한 연기 때문에 피글렛과 나머지 친구들은 해팔럼이 아니라 자신들이 알고 있던 크리스토퍼라고 믿게 됩니다. 오해를 풀고 다시 예전 사이가 된 크리스토퍼와 친구들은 같이 곰돌이 풀을 찾기 시작합니다. Hello, Pooh. Hello, Christopher Robin. I'm so sorry, Pooh. I'm so terribly sorry. I should never have shouted at you. Well, I am a bear of very little brain. No, Pooh. You are, I think, a bear of very big heart. You'll be happy to hear that everyone's safe and sound. I saved them from a heffalump, which was, in fact, well, me <laughs> and Owl's weather vane. I'm sorry I wasn't there. But I am rather glad that I was here, waiting for you. Thank you for waiting for me, Pooh. It's always a sunny day when Christopher Robin comes to play. Not so sure about that. Not who I used to be. Of course you are. You're our friend. Look at how you saved everybody today. You are our hero. I'm not a hero, Pooh. I'm lost. But I found you, didn't I? May we wake them? Mm. Oh. Oh. It's, it's me, Piglet. Oh. Wakey, wakey. Good morning, Piglet. Oh, no, 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 no! What is it? It's tomorrow! It's usually today. Well, yes, of course it's today, but that, that means I slept here and I'm meant to be in the office and... We've got all your belongings all nice and dry now. Tigger helped me get you all sorted. I sure did! There you go. Oh, thanks. 
I could never have forgotten my case of important things. I'm sorry I have to go, but I've already stayed far too long. Oh, Pooh, you should keep this. That way, if you lose someone, you'll be able to find them again. Thank you, Christopher Robin. Oh, and you should take this. For Madeline. What's a Madeline? Is it more important than your case of important things? Well, Madeline's my daughter, so yes, of course, absolutely. Well, she means the world to me. Then why isn't she with you? Well, uh, uh, she has work to do, Ru. Oh, the poor dear. No, no, she likes, oh. she, she likes work. Look, I've got to hurry. Goodbye, everyone. It's so nice to see you all again. Goodbye, Christopher. Father? Father, is that you? Yes. What are you doing here? Well, uh, I, I... I was, uh... Were you in the woods? Yes, I was. But I'm terribly sorry. I've... Hello. I, I've really got to go. You can't stay. I can't, darling. There's an 11 o'clock meeting I'm terribly late for. I'm so <clears throat> sorry. Madeline? Madeline? I don't feel much like poo today. There, there. I'll bring you tea and honey until you do. Mm, that's an idea, Piglet. One tugger nut mm. coming right up. This is the crucial part. It's too tight. Eeyore, you've got a, um, a something on your back. Rain protection. <laughs> what do you think? I know what I but think. those are Christopher Robin's important papers. Oh, Tigger, what have you done now? Well, I needed to make room in his briefcase for the real important stuff. You know, things to remember us by. Not that flippity flap paper. But without them, the Woozles will eat him for breakfast. <gasps> oh, no. Pooh, what, what do we do? Is it all tied up nice and tight? Well, of course. I used a Tigger nut, the strongest nut known. Does this make me look husky? Pooh, are you sure we need to go to London? Oh, yes, Piglet. Christopher Robin always comes to save us. Now it's our turn to save him. We're probably too late. I'd say they've eaten him already. <gasps> Come on, then. And it's an ace. She's won. The crowd goes wild. Woo! The crowd goes wild. <laughs> Which way is Wimbledon? Shh, be quiet. What do you mean, shush? Hello? That's a Madeline. Oh. You're crushing the papers. Hello? Ow. Oh, she's very good. Who's in there? Throw it back. No pushes. Mother, come on. Oh, 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 hello. Uh, congratulations on uh, Wimbledon. You must be. A Madeline. Ah! Oh, oh danger. Well, I'm ever so sorry. We're sorry, we didn't we do mean to interrupt your game. You're, you're, you're talking. Me? No, I'm not talking. Oh, well, I am now, I suppose. Wait, I recognize you. You're the bearer of my father's drawings. Winnie the Pooh. Pooh for short. This is Piglet. Eeyore. Wait for me! Take oh. me! Oh. oh dear. And I am Tigger. T I double go. Er. Well, hello everyone. Did the red balloon make you happy? Balloons make me very happy. That was from you? No, it was from Christopher Robin. My father was with you. Oh yes, he was helping me to find my friends. And he saved us from the heck lump. I have a what? But he left his important papers. So we're going on an expedition to London. Oh. <laughs> if we don't get the papers to him, a woozel is going to eat him for breakfast. A wooz? You must mean a Winslow. Exactly. A woozel. He's going to be awfully glad to get them back. Come on, let's bounce! We haven't got a moment to lose! Which way do we go? Christopher Robin said we should head north. London's northwest, actually. But the train station is south. I don't know south. Don't worry. I do. 메들리는 서류를 갖다 주러 아빠한테 잠시 다녀온다는 쪽지를 남기고 푸 그리고 친구들과 함께 런던으로 향합니다. There's going to be no fun like this at boarding school, Pooh. Why not just 
not go to boring school. If I can get these papers to father, then maybe he'll be so happy that he won't make me go. Dreams don't come for free, Pooh. You've got to fight for them. Nothing comes from nothing. Oh, yes. Doing nothing often leads to the very best something. What? Who told you that? Christopher Robin. That doesn't sound like father. He also said that your happiness means the world to him. He sure did. That's right. He said that. <laughs> Hold the lift, please. Yes, sir. Yeah, thank you. Ah, ready for the presentation, Robin. Ah, yes, it's all in here, sir. Winslow luggage, please. On Torrington Street. Come on, mate, I haven't got all day. Hey, what the... Oh, does it take a look right at me? But I'm the only one. What are you doing? I just saw the most preposterous imposterator. What's that, love? Oh, nothing. Imposterator! <laughs> now is not the time for napping, Madeline. Ooh, I'm gonna look him straight in the eye. Oh, not stopping. Follow that tigger! <laughs> You're losing him. <laughs> you exploded him. Good morning. Ah. Thank you for the ride. Is everyone all right? <laughs> My neck, my back. Oh, I can't feel my toes. No, it's so much fun. Let's do it again. Marvellous, mate. Oh, thank you very much indeed. That's fantastic. This is my livelihood. Officer, oh, thank goodness you're here. I don't think we played in that time very well. Some rest. This lot here, immediately. What, this little girl of her stuffed animal is giving you the fear, is she? No, no, there's something strange going on with them. Something spooky. Are you on a lemonade, mate? You need to take down these particulars. Look, doesn't listen. Hey, you. What are you in? No, 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 Excuse pal. me. I think you've got the wrong oh, word there. Yes, my darling. That's my father there. OK, well, off you pop. And be careful. I will. Thank you, officer. Thank you. Thank you, our officer. Right. What a nice man. Where's cabby's licence? You don't believe me? That is a certificate of excellent... There's that face. I did that face. You've seen him. You saw, didn't you? You saw. As you were... Um... Right, well, we all know why we're here. No one wants to see the Winslow luggage ship sink, so hard decisions must be made. Now, Robin and I worked tirelessly the whole weekend on this, but I don't want to take all the credit, so I'll let Robin present our solution. Hello? Are you getting on in there? Dark, gloomy. You should just leave me here. The good news is that I've found some cuts, but it's not going to be easy. We'll have to reduce overheads and find cheaper suppliers and... Well, there'll be sacrifices to be made in terms of our workforce. Sacrifices are fine, Robin. Just show us the proposals. Right, um... It's all here, in my papers. Uh, um, they are uh, a tad rushed, so, um... I'd bear with me. Um, hold on. Robin. Robin, if we don't solve the issue, we'll have no choice but to shut down. What have you got? Well, sir, no, I think what's happened is, uh... Sorry, Mr. Robin, there's an emergency. It's outside. She can't find Madeline. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, I have to step outside. Please excuse me. What the devil are you doing? I don't know, somewhere between here and the station. Oh, she's all alone. Expotition? Oh, she's not alone. Well, who's she with? I want to go home. We'll be fine. We won't hit anything. <laughs> well, the wonderful thing about tickets is their tops are made out of rubber, their bottoms are made out of springs. I was pretending that there was a heffalump, but of course it wasn't really a heffalump. Are you hearing I... yourself? You need to quit. Maybe we should ask if anyone's seen a bear or a tigger or a very small donkey. Darling, these creatures aren't real. Yeah, but we don't want to fly out. We just need a leap of faith. <laughs> Listen, I will call Dr. Cunningham on Monday, I think, with the right amount of rest. And... <laughs> tigger! Eeyore! Piglet! Huh. You must be Christopher Robin's wife. Ha! Huh. How do you do? My bum hurts. Where's Madeline? She's in a truck, headed Wooselwoods. Wooselwoods? 
Winslow's. Whoa, Winslow's. Drive to Winslow's. Winslow's. That's what Madeline will be. Winslow's, yes. Where are the others? They must have gone off on their own expedition. At least they left us the important papers. Christopher. Yes, sir. Is that a talking donkey? Well, it's a zeal. You're, this is Evelyn, my wife. Hello, Evelyn, my wife. Hello, talking donkey. How are you doing today? Don't get me started. We did it, Pooh. Oh, yes. Christopher Robin! Daddy! Thank God we found you. Are you all right? I lost your papers. I'm so sorry. Darling, that doesn't matter. You're safe. That's all that's important. Not my papers. But your work is so important. I thought that maybe if I brought you your papers that, that you wouldn't send me away and we could all be together. I saved a little bit. Sweetheart, I was wrong about work. I was wrong about everything, and I'm so sorry. I've been a father of very little brain. I lost myself, Maddie, and I almost lost you, my most precious love. I don't want you to go away. You don't have to go to boarding school. You can stay here with us, and I'll never let you go. <laughs> oh, you gave us a real fright. Well, another disastrous expedition. Well, I don't know about that, Eeyore. It all depends on how you look at things. Ah, well. Darling, you're a genius! Oh. <laughs> I have the answer. This better be worth the wait. Oh, it is, sir, because the answer to all your problems is nothing. Nothing? Oh, that's where you're wrong. Doing nothing leads to the very best something. What happens when people have time off work? Nothing to do. They go on holiday. And what do people need to go on holiday? Luggage, Mr. Winslow. You employ thousands of people all across your companies, and if you were to give them all paid holidays... Paid holidays? At the moment, you supply the wealthy and no one else. Do you see? But now look. If we all could afford to go on holiday, here, well, there would be hundreds and thousands of ordinary people going to the countryside, to the lakes and beaches, all with their Winslow luggage. And if we made the prices cheaper, well, then everybody could afford to buy them. Oh, great. Our lovely beaches ran with oi polloi with their gramophones and bottles of cider. Now, now, hold on, Giles. Oh, Father, please. This is clearly codswallop. Well, you would say that, wouldn't you, Giles? Why is that? Because you're a woozle. So that's what a woozle looks like. What the devil is a woozle? A woozle is a slinking little monster who gets everyone else to do his work for him and hopes that we forget what's important in our lives. Our families. Our dear friends, the people who love us, the people whom we love. Well, we're here to tell you, I'm here to tell you, that we're not afraid of heffalumps and woozles anymore, are we? Dear Lord, he has lost his marbles. Has he? Let's address the heffalump in the room, shall we? What were you doing this weekend, Giles? What? Me? Well, I, I, I told you I was, I was working. Oh. Now, I've not heard of a uh, woozle before, son, but by the sound of it, you are one. Me? A woozle? Now sit down, Giles. <laughs> Congratulations, Robin. I'd like you to start on this immediately. Thank you very much, sir. I look forward to it. But first, I'm going to be doing nothing for a while with my family. Oh, boy, it's good to be home. Oh, I suppose so. <gasps> oh, sweet. <laughs> Where have you all been? I was about to mount a search party. <laughs> Hello. Who's that man? That's a little girl. <laughs> I believe that's a Madeline. Welcome to Hundred Acre Wood. Keep north, Christopher. Oh, 
Oh, how did you know? Christopher Robin, what day is it? It's today. My favorite day. Mine too. Yesterday, when it was tomorrow, it was too much day for me. Silly old bear. 지금까지 영화 곰돌이 푸 다시 만나 행복해였습니다.